Hey guys, welcome back to Smart Reader. This is Dias Paul, and thank you so much for all your likes, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. If you're a new viewer, definitely go to my channel and watch all these videos. And if you're liking these videos, then you can go ahead this subscribe button to be a part of Smart Reader family. For the ones who wants additional services, you can always WhatsApp our customer care team seven eight nine two six five two four eight one to know what are the additional services and trading details. And for the ones who wants to open an account through us, you can click the link of Zeroda or Upstock in the <coughs> video link and open your account for the ones who are opening through smart trader you will be added to my secret telegram channel <clears throat> so without wasting time let's start off with today's topic so as requested we are going to discuss about doji candle in our previous session so we will uh, discuss about the doji candle what exactly is the doji candle so that a lot of beginners may not know what is a doji candle and maybe you may know the meaning of a doji candle but you don't know what is the variation in it or what is the logic we can apply so i will just share my experience what i have learned whatever i know i will just share with you like you know so hope this will be an add on to your knowledge now doji candle all right so now let me tell you this is a regular candle which you see okay R regular candle so this is the body of the candle right so this is the body of the candle where this will be the open price the price will go up and down so that is the high this is the low and finally it is closing in this level so that is called the close so there is always a open and a close for a candle now what is the speciality of doji how to know a pattern candlestick pattern is doji so whenever the open price and the close price is equal normally they say virtually equal so when you see it is almost equal it is called a doji pattern so now so this type of pattern whenever it comes in the chart they have named this as doji pattern now normally they say whenever a doji comes you need to do it happens a reversal okay a reversal happens so for example uh, candles are going like this and you get a doji they say it is a reversal same way when it is going down and you get a doji they say it is going up so doji is normally a reversal pattern but as per my experience yes i have faced not every time correct but sometimes it doesn't work like that even though the doji comes sometime the market continues to go up all right so normally doji means they are confused whether the market is in the up direction or down direction both are in control okay so buyers and sellers are pushing so they are stuck in between almost like a neutral all right so now we will discuss there are various types in this so three formations if the doji formation like i told you normal doji formation is like this all right so we have two other formation one is called the gravestone doji and the dragonfly doji so totally three types of doji so whatever we spoke the first one was like a long leg doji so that is nothing but the upper shadow and the lower shadow both will be long so we say long leg doji and like i told you the logic it's just like a neutral yes it is like a reversal pattern only sometime it happens sometime it doesn't happen now in this in this case gravestone doji what happens see the open was here the close was here so when the open price started here the stock went up okay the buyers were in control later end of the session of this candle the sellers pushed it down and the close is here right opened here and came down to close here so that means what sellers are in control so almost like a bearish candle okay bearish doji that means a doji which can be used for a bearish side for sell side same way dragonfly you see the open let's say open is this it opened here sellers pushed later by end of the session buyers pushed it back to an end such a way that it came towards the open price only so open and closes equal now this formation looks like a t this like a reverse t all right so reverse t so over here buyers are looking in control here sellers are looking in control now keeping this in mind what i would say is the logic what you can apply is you know about support and resistance right resistance and support here so what happens in support buyers will come buyer pressure will come in resistance what will happen sellers will come okay near resistance people will try to sell in uh, support people try to buy now whenever okay in a resistance near a resistance if this comes this formation doji that is gravestone doji which is lot of sellers are there because they pushed it right so if lot of sellers that is gravestone doji comes near a resistance it is good for a sell because we consider there will be a reversal or else there will be a downtrend 
with this doji that type of logic you can observe like i told you don't just blindly anybody just observe the market with what information i am telling you same way with dragon doji what happened bullish right because buyers pushed it end of the day that means bullish now what you can do bullish near support what happens lot of people try to buy stocks right near support lot of people will buy so there is buying pressure here so along with this buying pressure if you are getting a dragon fly doji that is like this buyer support dragon fly doji near support it when you are getting this type of formation over here it is said that it is a buy zone okay it is a confirmation for a buy so if you are getting these two formation near resistance and this formation near support you can definitely use it normally a doji for is formed like this and they say reversal pattern in an uptrend it goes down they say and in a downtrend they say it goes up but not always the same picture market fluctuates but doji this gravestone doji and this dragonfly doji you can observe in a resistance and support area then consider on your sell or a buy direction so you can observe this information what i have given you if you are confused with this information or if you feel my english is fast uh, because we have lot of uh, different languages uh, subscribers watching our channel watch this video again and again so that your doubts will be clear hope this video was an add on to your knowledge if you like this video hit that like and support me and also share this video and also subscribe to this channel see you soon in my next video till then take care bye bye